Hello, my name is Joe Cooper, and I'm the lead instructor for a newly revised vSphere install, configure, and manage course centered around the brand new and exciting vSphere 7. Over the course of this five-day offering, you're going to learn a ton about vSphere. You're going to learn about ESXi hosts. You're going to learn about vCenter server and all of the ways that we can manage virtual machines in this environment to create a highly resilient um, vSphere software-defined data center. Now, this five-day course is available in a couple of different formats. We have an instructor-led format where you can take a course in person or you can take a class online. And, as, and we also have, for those of us that don't have a full, dedicated, straight Monday through Friday week for this course, you can take it and you're at your own pace through our on-demand offering through the VMware Learning Zone. The instructor-led options are available starting in late April, and the on-demand version will be available at the beginning of June. Now, if you are interested in becoming a VMware certified professional, this course is the perfect place for you to start. And in fact, it is one of the five day courses that are required to obtain your VCP DCV certification. So who is this course for? Well, this course is for the system administrator or system engineer who is relatively new to virtualization. So if you've never played with a virtual machine, this is the place for you. If you have some, but a limited amount of experience working with virtual machines, working with ESXiOS and vCenter, and you wanna formalize that education and dive a little deeper, then this is the place for you. Now, if you are a highly experienced vSphere engineer and you just want to get more education and further your knowledge around this, then we have a level two course, a course that would follow this install, configure, manage called Optimize and Scale. And that might be a better course for you in that case. We do have a few very simple prerequisites for this course. Okay, We are going to be building virtual machines and playing with them a lot in this course. So working with Microsoft Windows, Linux operating systems, and being able to install those and manage them a little bit is very helpful for this course. So over these five days, what am I gonna learn? Well, after a brief introduction, we're going to cover, first of all, all of the vocabulary that you need to be able to speak this language, okay? So, what is an ESXi host? What is vCenter server? Um, what is vSphere high availability and the distributed resource scheduler? And how do virtual machines interact with the physical hardware that they're running on? That's what you're gonna learn in module two. As we dive deeper, we'll begin to start to build our virtual machines. And then in module four, we'll manage all of our ESXi hosts through vCenter server. Now, all of this infrastructure needs to be tied together so that your virtual machines become portable. And so the way that we'll do that is we'll build virtual networks and we'll manage all of our virtual machines through centralized storage. Then in module seven, we'll look at some, some real cool virtual machine management tools like vMotion and a few other things. Okay. In module eight, we'll look at the resources of your virtual machines and the consumption of the resources of your ESXi hosts. After all, as we are consolidating all of these resources onto fewer and fewer hardware components, we need to make sure that we have enough physical resources available to run the applications in our virtual machines. In module nine, we'll look at the vSphere cluster and those cluster features like vSphere high availability and the distributed resource scheduler. And finally, in module 10, we'll look at vSphere lifecycle management so that we can ensure that when, when patches become available, when new versions of ESXi hosts become available, heck, even when your uh, ESXi hosts get new firmware from your firmware from your OEM vendors that we are able to apply those and really homogenize uh, the environment so that all of the hosts are running at the same patch level and they're running at the same level of software.
Well, that does it for our week. Um, thanks for taking the time to listen here. My name is Joe Cooper, and I look forward to seeing you in our vSphere install, configure, and manage course this year.